Now you want to publish the Steam page for your game, but do you know how to set up Steam page efficiently, how to get approval quickly, or when it is best time to publish your page? In this video, I will cover all these topics in a couple of minutes. I will also share some free tools that I use to set up the Steam page. Make sure you stay to the end. Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Lee. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I make weekly videos about game development and programming. Please consider subscribing and turn on the bell, then you'll miss my next episode. If you follow the channel, you know I published my Steam page last week after one year of learning game development in Unity. You can check the video on the right corner for more details. It takes me some time to set up the Steam page and finally release on Steam. If you know the following facts, you may be able to set up the Steam page quickly and efficiently. Before you can publish the Steam page, you need to get a Steamworks account ready. Simply go to this website and follow the instruction to fill in your personal or company information. We need to pay the product submission fee, which is 100 US dollars for each game. Then we can see these two checklists. One is for store presence, which is about how your Steam page looks like. The other one is the build checklist, which is about your game installation. I think it is straightforward. Just keep in mind, you don't need to finish the game to publish the Steam page. One of the benefits is that we can start marketing our Steam page during development. For example, I can put the link on my social media, then people who are interested in my game can add it to the wish list directly. If you are interested in turn-based strategy game, please support me by adding Dungeon Slayer into the wish list. You can find the link in the description. Now you see what I'm doing. One of the time-consuming tasks is that we need to upload some graphical assets. One tip is that we need to make sure the size of the image meets the requirement. For example, if you need to upload a screenshot for the game, we can see the size should be like this. You can also check the text in the red color for more information. It takes some time to set up the Steam page, so if you plan to release the game or page on a specific date, you need to plan it well. If this is your first time to publish a game or page, Steam will review it firstly. I got feedback from Steam to fix the description and size of the image. All I need to do is to follow the instruction and make some changes accordingly. The review process takes around 1 or 2 days. I think Steam responds very really quickly. Another thing I would like to share is that the tools I use to set a Steam page, they are all free or you can get the free version. Instant High Resolution Screenshot Plugin It is a free tool. The reason I like this tool is that I can set the size for the screenshot and choose the camera in the scene. For example, I have two cameras for my game. One is for the gameplay, the other one is for the UI. When to capture the screenshot, I don't want to include the UI elements. Then I pass on the main camera. I find it is quite handy to get some good screenshot. Another useful tool, all I have to say it is a website, which is isgif.com. It provides a lot of functions to convert a video clip into the GIF file. Usually, the clip is around 3 to 5 seconds. You can also crop the image and reduce the size. Just keep in mind, it will take longer to load the Steam page if the image file is too big. Once it is done, we can upload it and set it to the description in this way. Now you can see the animated image on the Steam page like this. One more tip is that we can also set up a community section, like the link for the Discord server or YouTube channel. We can set up the image and include the link in this way. Once people click on it, it goes to our social media or Discord server directly. I find it is quite helpful as well. If the page meets the guideline and requirements from the review team, you will get approval from Steam, which means it is ready to publish. If you have a demo or build available, you may choose it as an early access. Otherwise, you can uncheck it, publish it as a Steam page only. One tip is that you need to choose the right time to publish the page. Then we can get more exposure. This is the link you can use to check how many players on Steam. We want to publish our game or page when it is on peak hours. Another excellent resource I found on YouTube is the videos from the game development channel named CodeMonkey. You can get the checklist before and after releasing a game. 
You may not follow the same steps because you may choose to publish the game yourself or through a publisher. But it is always good to know some other good practice from an experienced game developer. I highly recommend that you watch these videos before and after releasing your page or game. If you don't know how to set up Steam page for your game, don't worry about it too much. One tip is that you can check the other games which are similar to yours. Then you can check their Steam page and get some ideas. The easy way is that you can see the recommended game on the bottom of your page. After we publish the game or page, we can always update it based on the feedback from the community. Do you have any good practice to publish your game or Steam page? Please leave a comment and let me know. Furthermore, you are welcome to join my Discord server to share your work as well. Currently, we have over 150 members who are interested in game development. I hope to see you there. As a developer, you know I always prefer to spend time on game development rather than making videos. But if you like this video, I hope you can support me by subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification if you motivate me to make more videos. Thanks for watching. This is Lee. I will see you next time.